Tracy Budge, and I'm a Delta flight attendant based in Salt Lake City. Delta travels to some of the most exotic places on the globe, and they've afforded me the opportunity to travel to some of them. Today, I'd like to share with you one of the most interesting cities in Asia, Seoul, South Korea. This city has over 10 million inhabitants, and throughout the suburb area, a total of about 23 million. The cool thing about this city is that truly you can find, nestled within this huge city, small parks, Buddhist temples, quiet little traditional culture still exist. That's what I want to share with you today. Here we are at the foot of Mount Inwonsong, just outside of the major city of Seoul. The reason I really like it is it's totally off the beaten path. As you're walking up here, you're going to see a number of Buddhist temples and shamanist shrines. This beautiful bronze bell marks the entrance to one of the many Buddhist temples that you'll find on this hike. The Buddhist temples can be identified by these murals that are painted on the outside. They depict the Buddha's life. The shrine you see behind me is one of the most famous shrines devoted to the shamanist religion here in Seoul. As you can hear behind me, they have a ceremony going on right now. This is the Seoul Fortress Wall that used to surround the city. Originally this was built in 1395 and at one point was 18 kilometers. Today it's used as a hiking trail to take you up to the top of Mount Inwonsong. The subway is a great way to get around in Seoul. The thing that's easy is all of the signage is in English, it's also in Korean and Chinese. The other cool thing is sometimes they'll have a little Mozart just indicating that you're coming up to a station that has transfer points and then they'll mention which transfer points. And remember, there's eight lines. So sometimes you have to listen up to figure out what line you want to get to. Moto, this order is on your right. You can transfer to the orange line. When you come out of the station, there's lots of different ways to exit, and it can be very confusing. So the best thing to do is check the map, just like the one behind me. And it will show you, in the station, there's different exits, and they're identified with a number. We're going to go to the Palace of Shining Happiness, so we're going to exit from exit 5. We're just in the heart of downtown Seoul. You walk right through the gates into this palace, and you've been transported back 600 years. When you come to the palace, try to time it so you can see the changing of the guards. During the Joseon dynasty, there were guards at each of the four gates that entered into the palace grounds. The kings were so concerned for their security, they had a daily password that changed around 3 o'clock. When you come to visit the palace, give yourself at least a half day. This complex is so large, there are a couple of museums, state rooms, a lotus pond, numerous things that you want to take time to see. There are tour guides as well, and they're free. They have them in English and other languages. We've now arrived in the upscale area of Apunjangdong. It's the Beverly Hills of Seoul, South Korea. It's the place to be seen. It's where the trends are set. There are fashionable boutiques, cafes, movie theaters, malls. It's also where I'm going to have my fortune told. Yeah. One of the fun and traditional things I like to do when I come to Korea is have my fortune read. Fortune telling is a $3 billion business in Korea, so you can imagine it's pretty popular. The most typical type of fortune telling is called Saju which means fate. This is where the reading is based on four pillars. Your birthday, the actual date, the month, the year, and the time that you were born. This means what? Okay. Yes. So this year and the next year is good luck to your life. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yes. So last year was a hard yeah. year. Yeah, hard year. And this is water. Water, water means intelligence. Yes, so you are very smart. <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah, smart and uh, brilliant. Thanks for letting me share some of my favorite things that I like to do and see when I'm in Seoul. Remember, if you want to get out of the city and stretch your legs, 
take one of the hikes, I recommend Mount Inwangsan, just 10 minutes from the city. Also, visit one of the many palaces. My favorite is the Palace of Shining Happiness. And definitely go get your fortune told. That's one of the fun, different things that you can do here. So pack your bags. Maybe I'll see you on the flight.